NBA players reacting to life in prison. Javaris Critterton. As they call him. <laughs> well, Critterton uh, successful on a couple of moves. Some NBA stars, like Javaris Critterton, took the wrong kind of shot. Not one with a basketball, but one with a bullet. Critterton had a shining career with the Los Angeles Lakers after playing high school and college basketball, but he flushed that golden career down the drain when he decided to get a rebound in the worst possible way. It started with Critterton being robbed, possibly by gang members, and instead of going to the police like any reasonable person, Critterton decided it would be best to scare the robber away with a guns blazing drive-by shooting. But instead of getting back at the man who robbed him, he orphaned four little kids from their mother, Julianne Jones. Critterton was arrested right before he could make a break for it at the Orange County Airport, but his hearing is when the plot really thickens. Judge, this is the case of State of Georgia versus Javaris Critterton. Apparently, Critterton sports a tattoo of the logo of the notorious LA-based street gang, the Crips. On the other end of that battle was Trontavaria Stevens, a rival member of the Bloods gang, who supposedly was the true target of Critterton's horrifying attack. Critterton's gang affiliations are the subject of debate, but it's not like someone coincidentally gets a tattoo of a very specific gang logo just for the hell of it. Caught red-handed, Critterton had no option but to plead guilty. But his plea was for voluntary manslaughter and aggravated assault with a firearm, which are a bit less than murder. In court, Critterton was in tears and dead set that he was not a murderer, and that gunning down an innocent mother was somehow accidental. With the new lesser charge, Critterton still received 23 years in prison and 17 years of probation. <laughs> He'd better hope there's a hoop in the prison yard, as his basketball days are long behind him. Nevertheless, Jones's mother could not sympathize, as she was traumatized by her daughter's death, saying, My daughter was robbed of her life. The only way her children will know their mum now is through stories and pictures. Strangely, there's a common trend of basketball stars getting caught in airports. Like, Here's Griner going in! From the Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner, who almost started an international incident between the US and Russia with a simple suitcase. She may have committed a crime, but Griner is still admirable for being an eight time WNBA All Star, even winning the championship in 2014. So, what happened? Well, unlike Critterton, Griner didn't exactly dunk on her entire career, <laughs> pun intended. The problem started in Russia on February the 17th, 2022, when Griner was arrested by the Russian authorities at Moscow Airport for allegedly smuggling drugs when vaporizer cartridges were found in her bags. Tensions quickly rose between the US and Russia, and unlike Rocky and Ivan Drago, this athlete-related predicament wasn't going to end in a peaceful match and Griner had to plead guilty on the second day of her trial. I made an honest mistake, and I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here. Griner received nine years in prison and a one million ruble fine. But the hands of destiny extended out to Griner, and the opportunity of a prisoner exchange with one Russian arms dealer named Victor Bout saved Griner from her cold cell on the other side of the world. Griner returned to the US, and in 2023, she's even looking to make her WNBA comeback, which is raising a lot of eyebrows. What do you think about the choice to let Griner back into the NBA, despite her charges? Griner wasn't the only one caught with some <laughs> recreational substances, as she's joined by 3. Sebastian Telfair Sebastian Telfair, who was caught with things he had no business messing with. First, we have to marvel at this man's career prospects, as he played in the NBA for more teams than the gangs he'd been seeing in prison, such as the Portland Trailblazers, Boston Celtics, Minnesota Timberwolves, and many more. He probably should have considered these teams' disappointment in him in June 2017, when he was pulled over by the police for a simple missing headlight and some illegal parking. Bad, but nothing horrible. Until the police started searching the car, and what they found was shocking. While you'd expect a man like him to have a bunch of autographed balls in his car, he actually had three loaded handguns, a semi-automatic rifle, a ballistic vest, and several bags of marijuana. We're betting those weren't for the post-game party. 
Telfair was obviously arrested for weapon possession, and despite an outburst in court for no reason, they know what I'm in New York! And where's that woman to go? Must be over here! He was sentenced to three and a half years of prison time. I kind of ruined my career with that, Telfair said then. It was a bad move all round, but I don't beat myself up about it too much. Seriously, there's a weird problem between NBA stars and drugs, as these people are also joined by Corey Blount. Corey Blount, who had a plea so ridiculous it made the judge crack a joke. Any 90s NBA fan would know Corey as a star player for the Chicago Bulls, as well as other teams like the LA Lakers and 76ers, but his golden years came to a halt in December 2018, when he was arrested for drug possession. Interestingly though, unlike others on this list, he wasn't exactly caught in the act. The police intercepted 11 pounds of marijuana sent to him. But where there's smoke, there's fire. And as any logical officer would do, and to Blount's misfortune, they decided to search the delivery address too. And well, they were in for quite a surprise. In Blount's home, they found a whopping 18 extra pounds of marijuana and three guns. We're not really well versed in the drug business, but 29 pounds sure does seem like a lot for one person, doesn't it? Either way, this was about as red handed as it could be, and the police suspected trafficking. Dogs don't hit on money unless there's some sort of substance that they're trained to hit on. And that tells me that that money was somehow associated with the drugs. How do you hurt someone so successful and rich, though? Simple, you take away his toys. The police seized three cars, a 96 Mercedes-Benz, 2004 Escalade, and a 2000 Chevrolet Suburban. Whether or not he used these cars for trafficking or smoking, he's had to say his goodbyes. That wasn't it for Blount though, as he was arrested, sentenced to one year of prison time, fined $10,000, as well as ordered to release $34,000 in cash. There definitely was foul play involved, as none of this seems like your average everyday basketball life. With everything pointing to trafficking, in court, Blount tried to save as much face as possible, saying that it was for personal use. The statement was so ridiculous that even the judge couldn't help but joke, saying Cheech and Chong would have had a hard time smoking that much. It's like, you know, Cheech and Chong would have a hard time <laughs> smoking that much. While some NBA stars were in for drugs, others were in for pretty much everything else, such as J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith who can't seem to stay out of trouble and stay within the court lines. With his popularity in the Cleveland Cavaliers and LA Lakers, this two-time NBA champion has more minor offenses and parking tickets than he does winning shots. But after game-based brawls and a couple of speeding tickets and minor car accidents, he went way out of line in June 2007. JR was driving with a couple of other friends when he recklessly drove through a stop sign and collided with another car. Smith was fine, but one of the passengers, Andre Bell, horrifically ejected straight out of the car and died from head injuries. Just to give you an idea of how bad of a driver J.R. Smith was, prior to that accident, he had 27 points on his license, with 8 violations in 7 days. If that's not good enough reason to ban him from ever touching a steering wheel again, we don't know what is. Anyway. After being charged with vehicular manslaughter, J.R. pleaded guilty to reckless driving. Uh, I mean, I know it's not going to bring him back. To no one's surprise, he got charged with 90 days in prison, as it was still an accident after all, not murder. However, like most celebrities and athletes, he was released after 24 days. Should he have gotten a harsher sentence? We'll let you be the judge of that. I mean, it's... It's, it's something you can't deal with, and I, I am deeply sorry. I, I never intended this to happen. I not, never in my mind did I ever want to hurt or harm him or anybody else. Shockingly though, JR still received two more speeding tickets and three license suspensions ever since that terrible accident.